Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So yes, this is the same day that I filmed my um, last five bags that I purchased uh, video. So go check that out if you haven't seen it. But I'm getting ready to go on a long, long vacation for like three weeks and I'm so excited. So I wanted to go ahead and film my content ahead of time so that I don't leave you guys bored while I am away. But welcome to my channel, my name is Jody. Today I am going to show you 10 shoes um, platforms, heels, and flats that you absolutely need for summer. Whether you get these exact ones or a virgin similar, I will try to find similar ones to link for you. So I usually talk all about my jewelry, but I also love bags and shoes. So today, let me bring you the shoes. We also have an unboxing that I will incorporate into this video. We have two pairs of shoes to unbox from GNV to Rossi and from Balmain. So we will do the unboxing, but let us talk about the shoes. So I'll show you five pairs of flats and five pairs of heels slash platforms. And I've been wearing these for some time now. Some of them are from last year. Some of them are from this year. I love every single pair of them. The thing with me, I rarely ever get buyer's remorse because I really plan out what I'm going to buy. I test it out. Make sure I love it. So I love all of these. No regrets. Highly recommend them all. So let's go ahead and start with the platforms and the heels. And then we will move on to our, our, um, we'll move on to our flat shoes. All right. We've got 10 things. Number one coming up right now. All right, friends. I had to go get what we're unboxing today. So this is our Balmain box. <laughs> and our um, GNV to Rossi, but I'll plug them in when it's time. So let me grab the first two pairs of shoes for you. All right, guys, first two pairs of shoes. Um, you'll probably remember these from the haul that I did this year. If you haven't seen it yet, check it out. It was amazing. So these are by Giuseppe. They're the Unamia. Um, platform sandals. I know platforms are in. I've been seeing a lot of platforms I absolutely hate. I'm um, sorry, but mm -mm. those Versace platforms, no guys. I'm not offending you if you love them, but they are not for me. I don't like them at all. But I think these are so cute. So we've got our bow, and together they make like a full bow. So each one is half. The heel height is amazing. They are high, but you know, the platform reduces the pitch. So platform shoes are actually super comfortable and just so stylish. I've worn these many times. You can check out my Instagram. You'll see me wearing them. They have not scratched and scuffed or anything like that. The comfort level is ridiculous. Like I've worn these to like dinner and to drinks afterwards and to hang out after and had them on for hours and hours and hours and hours. No problem. And they're kind of lightweight for the fact that they're platforms, and I absolutely love that. They're super high quality. They have the square toe. The soles, you can see they're still beautiful. No prints, no marks, no scuffs, no scratches. These are fabulous shoes. They also come in nude and in black. I haven't been seeing them on the website anymore. So maybe you could check out a store or a third party site. But I highly recommend these Giuseppe platforms. Love them to death. And then I also love like, you know, the little detail that they have, the GZ on the back here. Love these shoes. And I will try on all of the shoes for you. Uh, let me check the size. This is a 38. They are true to size. I am a US size 8. So these fit absolutely perfectly at my true size. And I love them. And they're the type that buckles around... The ankle you know I have lots of Giuseppe shoes I love Giuseppe shoes they do an excellent job so yeah highly recommend um, shoe number two you guys have seen these a few times they're one of my favorite pairs of shoes these are the Christian Louboutin sandal du dessert I bought mine in 2021 we're in 2022 now sadly they haven't been doing this pattern anymore so the 2022 version of these that I have linked for you, they are mostly red. So there's lots of red going on in the patterns, so not like this. 
But what I love about these, you've got stripes here, you've got the houndstooth here, you've got this colorful satin bow, you've got the prints on the inside, we have a brown leather strap, of course our red soles. They are so gorgeous, they're so intricately made. Love, love, love these shoes. Again, the comfort level is amazing. These are 38 and a half, which means I went up a half size. One of my favorite shoes in my collection. These are the It Girl shoes. These are the statement shoes. I am so happy that I got these when I did. They were $12.50. They're still $12.50, so they have not. Or maybe $11.50. Don't quote me. That's why I don't like to say prices. I'm not sure. But anyways, um, the price is in the description box, and it hasn't changed since I first bought mine. So no price increase on these. So if you can get your hands on them, go ahead and do. They're so fabulous. Um, I absolutely love them. You can wear the bow tied to the front or to the back, which kind of changes up the look a little. But they're absolutely beautiful. Alright guys, I've got shoes 3 and 4 for you. We're going to continue on the platform trend. So the third one, these are the Louis Vuitton Coastline Sandals. You can see they have that beautiful beachy look um, to them because of the quartz material. But then you still get your Louis Vuitton monogram brown. Uh, the straps can fall out. So you need to be careful with these. Uh, if you open them up and leave them, these can actually just slip out and then you'll be left without a strap. So be careful there. But I've worn these hundreds of times. They're still very clean. No toe prints, no lifting of the soles, nothing like that. Um, the heels have become a little bit fuzzy because I wore them somewhere muddy and I used a little bit of a brush. But, you know, they still look good. It's not anything bad. Again, the heel height is very comfortable. The pitch is reduced by the platform. So these are very easy to wear. Absolutely love them. They are divine. They are so gorgeous. These are a size 38, which means they are true to size for me. I absolutely love them so much. They didn't release them again this year. These were from 2021. But I've got so much wear out of them, and I'll be wearing them a lot again this year. So absolutely love my Louis Vuitton platforms. And then, these are my Tom Ford platforms. I want to say these are called the Disco platforms. I purchased these this year, 2022. You can see that in my shopping haul as well. This is the highest of all of them. They're also the most uh, daring, if I should say. But I love them, guys. These really jazz up a simple outfit. I wore them with my tuxedo pants, and I really loved that look. They made my tuxedo pants outfit really come alive. Um, but these are so pretty. No lifting of the soles. The suede is still soft and smooth and supple and intact. The heels, no scuffs, no scratches. They were very comfortable to wear. The straps on them, very comfortable, very sturdy, still like perfectly in place. Absolutely love how this fits. Some shoes that have the strap across are not comfortable and I hate them. But these actually hit where they should and I'm very happy with all of these platforms that I have. My only comment is the toe print of the um, right here doesn't really go away. It is a very, very cushy suede. This is actually like thick and they're so comfortable. They're almost like memory foam when you put them on, honestly. But it does leave a little bit of a print. Um, but other than that, they're fine. I, that's just me. I, I, don't, I like for my shoes to always look new. I really love shoes, but I like my shoes to look clean and pristine all the time. And they do look clean. They're still like completely black. It's not like you change color or anything. It's just the impression that is there. So if you're not too picky, these are great. Love Tom Ford. Tom Ford quality is amazing. Tom Ford shoes are amazing. Um, you guys have probably seen me review my Tom Ford lock, um, padlock sandals. Those are amazing. Still one of my favorite shoes. And I've added these. These are amazing as well. So 
definitely a great purchase. Then my fifth pair of heels I will have to unbox for you guys. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the fifth one, the purpose of it is to add a pop of color. I think for summer, as far as summer shoes goes, it's always great to have something of color, something bright, something vibrant. And so these GNV to Rossi heels are just that. I bought them on sale. I pray they fit because I've been sitting on this box for a really long time and haven't done my unboxing or anything. They send pre-packaged um, labels so you can do easy returns with them. I love companies that do that, but it's within 14 days of receiving the order and I, I'm sure I've had them for at least a month. So let's pray about this. So yeah, love the packaging. They use that nice minimalist brown. Everything looks really sustainable and chic. Let's get into it. So they send extra tips, which I love that they do that. Guys, I'm so excited. They're so pretty. Oh my goodness. So, guys, they are so pretty. So these are the Alicia Mule. I got them in a 38.5. My sale price was 405 And I think the real price is close to 700 so I got them almost $300 off on sale. I bought them from gnvtorossi.com. You can also find them on Saks and other department stores. But look at this gorgeous green. This green is given everything it's supposed to give. It's so beautiful. I will be trying on all the shoes for you so you'll get to see. But I just had to slip it on real fast because I was very nervous that they don't fit and I've been sitting on them for such a long time. But they do fit. I'm going to show you in just a second, okay? Oh my god, they're comfortable. They're pretty. Alright friends, new favorite summer shoes. I cannot wait to rock these. I love that they've put leather um, to border the mesh part right here. Looks really good. The tips are nice and sturdy. It's not too uncomfortable, you know? I can rock any kind of shoes, but these actually do feel good. They're not too skinny. Um, I don't mind the pointy toe. They look really classy and elevated. And the green is just given. So, love these shoes. Alright guys, that's all the heels and platforms. So let's now talk about the flats real quick. I do have another summer sandal video where I showed you all of the flats or most of them. And anyway, I do have the collection coming up. But today I just wanted to show you my top 5 must-have summer flats. Let's get right into it. So my first favorite one. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Um, this is a Chanel cord sandal I bought in 2021. In 2022, I haven't seen these at all. But oh my god, look how gorgeous these are. We've got the gold detail. We have the gold Chanel. I've worn these a thousand times. There's no wear and tear. Nothing bad is going on with them. They're not fuzzy. Um, the Chanel, the CH, is kind of getting rubbed off a little, but they still look good. They're not lifting at the soles. This part of it is nice and stretchy. It fits well. They're just so chic. Like, they remind me of the beach. I love wearing them to the beach. Like, they just have the right vibe. I will say that where this part hits kind of hurts a little. Um, it rubs against my foot. If I'm wearing them for too long, but it's not unbearable or anything, but just something to note. But they're so pretty. Absolutely love having them in the collection. And shameless plug, um, this is one of my favorite beach bags. It's from my brand, Jody Melissa. And these two just go so great together. You know that great beachy material when you're wearing even something like this, you know, like a white shirt or a linen outfit and it just gives you all the vibes. But anyways, there are links in the description to everything. 
So go check that out. And if I, it's no longer available, I just put no longer available. So, all right, friends, next two pairs of shoes are both jelly type sandals. So let us start with the Valentino Rockstud. You guys probably know her. Um, these are pretty popular for good reason. They are the perfect pool and beach shoe. You should not be wearing your leather sandals in the water, at the pool, at the beach. You're going to ruin your leather. So you need something that is jelly and resistant. These are perfect. They were uncomfortable the first four or five times I wore them because they needed to be broken in at the straps. Now they're completely like I can't even feel them. I don't even think about them. They're so awesome. These are size 38. They do fit true to size. I've been wearing them for three summers now. They hold up like crazy. The quality is amazing. All of the writing is still there. Nothing is erased. They might look a little bit splotchy because I sprayed sunscreen and um, it got on the bottoms and it just looks a little frosty, but I'm sure I could clean that off. Um, things to note, I have lost two of these studs before. I'm sure it was my fault, um, the way I packed them or something. But anyway, they broke off. I brought them back to the store. I did a vlog where I was telling you guys about that. And they fixed them for me free of cost. Apparently, they're going to start charging. But that day, I didn't get charged. And I'm thankful. <laughs> so, love them. They are essential. And so, this year, I've added a second pair of pool jelly sandals. These are kind of that dad style. Very comfortable, very classic. These are from Gucci. Um, so they're the Gucci rubber jelly sandals. They're so comfortable. You do not have to mess with the straps in order to put the shoe on. It comes from the back instead and you just slip your foot in and you're good to go. And this is adjustable as well. These are a size 39, which means I went up one size. They fit well, they're easy to clean. They're super chic. Love the GG on the bottom, even though you don't necessarily see that. But these are so cute, guys. I've been having so much fun with them. The details are very amazing. So cute. And in comparison to a lot of the dad type sandals that are out there, I think these are super pretty. Some of those, honestly, are just not given. Just doing too much or I don't know. But I like these a lot. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments which shoes are your favorite. My fourth favorite must-have sandal for the summer is the Hermes Oran. Yes, you guys have seen these everywhere and for good reason. They're very comfortable. They're very sturdy. They're very well made. I'm wearing mine for three summers now. And you can barely see anything wrong with them. There's a little bit of creasing on them, but that's totally fine. If you have wide feet, these are a great shoe for you because this is a nice wide fit and it gives you a lot of room and flexibility, so they're absolutely wonderful. I've seen people ruin their soles. Mine, you can see, are pretty and I wear mine at least three, four times a week. I have no toe prints, nothing is lifting, they're absolutely awesome. I'm not going to show you the bottoms because they're kind of dirty right now. But these are great and I love that they did the imprint for the logo so that way it's not going anywhere. It can't get rubbed off or anything. It's just nicely there still. So I might be getting these in another color. That's something I don't usually do with my shoes or my handbags. I have one of each thing. I don't do the duplicate color situation. Just six pairs of shoes, different colors because why? But these I would probably get in another color, so we will see. And the fifth pair of shoes I would like to share with you today from the Summer Flats Edition are my Louis Vuitton Locket Sandals. These are one of the best things I have ever bought, period. For the way I wear these, for the number of times I put this on, these are basically like house shoes, errand shoes, run to Costco, but still take them on vacation, wear to the beach, still dress up in them. Look how pretty they still are. Listen, Louis Vuitton quality is unparalleled. Like, oh my goodness. No creasing, no bending, no lifting. Matter of fact, it's not the kind of sole that can peel, right? It's just that nice leather all the way through. 
the bottoms don't even look that bad, guys. Seriously. They did great. These are size 38, so again, they are true to size. And I would buy these again. These? Mmm. So they have actually updated the design just a little. And the price hasn't gone up too bad. I think it went up maybe a hundred bucks since I first bought mine. But I still, still highly recommend these Louis Vuitton Locket flat mules. They are perfect. Dress them up, dress them down. Highly comfortable. Totally worth the money. Get you a pair if you can. Let's unbox the Balmain shoes. All right, friends. We've got some shoes from Balmain. They were having a massive sale. I actually wanted these shoes back in January and I passed on them. And I'm glad that I did because now I got them almost 60% off. Paid a fraction of the price. And I'm so excited about that. They're pretty! Alright, so I know we're doing the summer sandal summer platform theme for this video, but... I needed to unbox these and since we're talking shoes why the heck not guys how pretty are these how pretty are these all right so we've got our Balmain detail on them look at the buckle oh my gosh we've got a gold heel it's so gorgeous black tip they're pointy toe and they are so gorgeous. Alright friends, I will have to try these on and pray that they fit because I've been sitting on them forever. I did buy them in a size 39 so I went up a whole size um, because they're boots and they're pointy toe and I just wanted to be sure. So far I'm not seeing a zip closure so that could potentially be a problem but we're gonna find out in just a second. Thank you friends for hanging out with me today. It is always a pleasure doing these videos with you. Thank you for joining the tribe. If you're not yet a part of the tribe, go ahead and subscribe. And I will see you guys when I get back from vacation. Um, I think my next video is going to be the last five handbags that I purchased. And then the next two videos are going to be my shoe collection and my bag collection. But somewhere in there, there might be a little bit of a break in the uploads. And that is because I am on holiday for three weeks. Uh, so follow me on Instagram to get day-to-day -day updates of what is going on. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you, friends. Bye.